The traps laid by the abbot have proved tricky, and yet we have managed to break into the inner cloisters, and the library is close at hand, if memory serves. My friend looks weary and troubled, the weight of the world on his shoulders. I can see he is holding a terrible secret deep within. He is trying to bury it, and in its place... Okay, so for library, I know half of this stage, I don't know the other half. So the first thing that you can do is you don't need to use holy water, and you can actually do a one cycle to get out of bounds here. And it's just a single avalanche into a landslide going out of bounds. Once you get to here, once you get to about here, Gabriel turns invisible. It seems like at this point you want to kind of run parallel to the screen. And just before this box happens, um, that untenster box, uh, there's a fall off into oblivion. So you kind of want to run and then do a late double jump. On the late double jump, you want to kind of move away from the screen, so you kind of load the uh, room to the side of you. And I just missed it there. This is probably the hardest part about this trick. Is getting this to work. Oops. Once again, you can use two avalanche punches to make this more consistent, but I think it's pretty consistent even with one. And the problem with this part is I just have no idea where exactly I'm supposed to be aiming to succeed here. But I know you do like a late double jump. As you can see, the screen kind of freaks out a little bit also when you start to go out of bounds with the landslide punch there. There we go, and I load it in there. Um, from here, there's a couple options. Um, you can actually get back in bounds at this point by just doing an avalanche and landslide combination to get into here. Uh, you won't skip the puzzle, but to be honest, you're not going to skip the puzzle if because <laughs> I have no idea how to do it here. So, until I figure out a consistent method for skipping the puzzle. That was up and left, and I still didn't trigger it. Or start from checkpoint. The good thing, though, is that if you do fail it once you hit the door, when you restart from checkpoint, you end up on the mirror puzzle. Let's see. Um, even though the light beam isn't showing, if you get back into the screen... Uh, using the avalanche landslide, you can still shoot the beam with this one. It's kind of silly. And this is a simple enough puzzle. Um, so it's really... Not sure which is a better option, to be honest. Um, just going in and conceding it, or doing the skip. The skip is definitely faster if you know how to do it. But it's by a fairly minor amount, it seems like. Like, no more than 10 seconds, considering the extra things you have to do. Like, you have to do an extended jump as well to get back in bounds. Okay, and then this part. I'm actually going to try something a little different. That was an extended backwards double jump, and it looks like it didn't work. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to kill off these guys a little bit. You don't have to. If you do the trick correctly, then you should be able to get out of here just fine. But um, for this part, I'm holding down. And as you can see, I'm kind of stuck. You can see my legs kind of floating there <laughs> on the uh, thing. And right there, I was trying to do a guillotine into a jump. And doing a guillotine into a jump seems to have gotten me... Or a guillotine into a launch afterwards seems to have gotten me high enough to be able to trigger the outside of the level. I don't know what the precise amounts are, but 
it's not that hard. You can usually get out of there in about three holy waters with a little bit of shenanigans. 